This is a mid fall update of the growing beds, the air printing beds that we've got going. This is air printing bed number one, a 10 foot long, three foot wide bed. Um, what you're looking at right here is a mix of black locust, apple seedlings, and we got some thornless honey locust mixed in there as well, along with the odd comfrey. And then down here at the very end, we have some grape ivy seedlings, a little bit of comfrey. I forget the name of this guy, but he's a uh, dryland adapted legume tree with some pretty yellow flowers. More honey locusts here. So that's bed number one. Bed number two up top, this one's 14 feet long. Again, three feet wide, mostly black locusts. We've got our, again, uh, forgotten um, legume tree with the yellow flowers. And then, yeah, mostly black locusts the rest of the way down with some comfrey in there. So we'll be getting ready to pull these trees um, probably by the beginning of December or just before Christmas as they'll be fully dormant and we'll be able to pull them out. Okay, bed number three. This one we've got Albizia julibrisson or Mosa or Persian silk tree. A couple black locusts scattered in there and then one odd volunteer. And I don't actually know who this guy is yet, but some crazy grass with some very interesting seed heads. Um, this bed has been unfortunately blocked by the roof line fairly early um, at the kind of the end of summer. So it hasn't gotten a ton of light, although the albizies are generally very slow growing anyways, but they've got some good, good stems, good trunks, little baby trunks developed. Um, so if possible, I'd leave them, might just leave them in here another year, let them get a little bigger. Um, but we'll see, we might pull them this year just to make room for another crop in this bed. This is one of my favorite ones. It's just absolutely beautiful. And even on the burning hot days, you put your hand on these trees and they are just nice and cool. Here we are down at bed number four. So in the front here, we've got a bunch of two year old chestnuts. Some are about three feet tall, some are two, some are one. Um, these got held over from a prior year, last year's chestnuts crop. We had zero germination. So held over the stragglers and grew them out again in this lower portion of the the bed. Um, then we've got some more black locusts. These ones got really tall. This guy's like four feet tall. A um, bunch of black locusts in there. Got a few apricots. That's that kind of multi-trunk guy right there. And then a whole nice dense understory of lemon balm because I, once it gets in the beds, it's really hard to get rid of. But I actually really like this for providing shade to the root zone, keeping things cool, helping with some moisture retention. We did have some deer get in here and come and chomp some of these black locusts earlier in the season, but they're hardy and they'll regrow and they'll just have a nice bushier appearance. And then right next to it is bed number five. This is the one with the thinnest soil horizon that we experienced with, experimented with. And as you can see, the, the trees are a lot shorter. Um, we also had a lot of uh, deer loss right here in that one incursion. So a bunch of these got hacked, but even the little ones that got beat up early in the season are still growing. I mean, black locust is such an amazing tree. It's just a powerhouse. So we'll harvest these as well, but basically don't go any less than six inches of soil um, in your air burning beds or else your trees are going to show diminished growth. Where what you're seeing here is like in some cases, there's literally two inches of soil over there. You're still getting trees, but they're not as vigorous as this one where we had about 10 inches of soil at the start of the season. And it's probably about eight inches of soil right now. So that's a mid-October update on the air printing beds at Honey Badger Nursery. And we'll get to pull these probably a bit before Christmas, get them all packed up, and hopefully find them some good homes for some young developing agroforestry systems out there.